Hello everyone, my name is Mariam Mokta. For decades, Malaysians have been told that only Amno Baru and PAS are the parties which will protect the Malays and defend Islam. However, if you ask the politicians, from whom are we protecting the Malays and why does Islam need defending, they are silent. Islam has survived many centuries of existence. Now the problem is that the politicians want to control our minds and manipulate our behaviour. Moreover, many Malays do not know their religion well enough and will simply listen and obey their clerics, even though these men of religion promote division and hatred in our society. The irony is that in Malaysia today, the parties which claim to defend and protect the Malays and Islam have divided the Malay further. So let us reflect on what the ulama and racist politicians tell us. I have this question for them. So, will I become a better Muslim if I wear the tudung and look down on others who do not? If I force my wife and children to wear a tudung. If I don white Arab robes, the joba, and look down on my own culture. I want to prove my innocence, so I just swear on the Quran. I go to Mecca to atone for my sins, like some politicians or families of politicians who I want to do. I report my neighbour to the moral police because she refused my advances. I do not smell a rat when some people appear to discover porcine DNA in food products like butter or chocolate a few months before Hari Raya and the religious departments demand hefty fines or impose stiff restrictions on selling those products. Am I a better Muslim if I support moves to have separate lifts to transport food which is non-halal from one floor to another in a hotel? Will I become a better Muslim if I support separate supermarket trolleys and separate checkout queues? Am I a better Muslim if I support the women, the, the whipping of women who drink in public or have had premarital sex or who commit adultery? I give scholars and national sportsmen a second chance, even if they are paedophiles or have been charged with statutory rape. If I force a girl who has reached puberty to marry her rapist, so that her family is spared the shame of a child conceived out of wedlock. Am I a better Muslim if I make sex videos of my political rivals, or if I cut off the hands of men who steal to buy milk for their baby? But I keep quiet about 1MDB and the billions of ringgits of illicit outflows because I value my job. Am I a better Muslim if I kill dogs and stop Muslims from petting dogs in public? If I hound employees for selling books by lesbian or homosexual authors, despite knowing that the staff have no control over the books which are for sale? Will I become a better Muslim? If I force church officials to remove crucifixes and ban hymns and prayers when the Prime Minister visits a church hall for tea. Or if I order the removal of crosses from school badges, school walls and school books. Or I demand that the crosses on the spires of churches are removed because Muslim youths may easily be converted. Will I become a better Muslim if I demand all football strips and jerseys which have the sign of the cross or the devil, be banned from use by Muslims. Or if I persecute girls who are hugged by their K-pop idols, but I close one eye when the spouse of the PM hugs a sports champion. Will I become a better Muslim if I ignore calls to preserve archaeological treasures like those in the Bujang Valley of Kedah, which may be older than Angkor Wat, simply because the relics are of Hindu origin? Will I become a better Muslim if I send effeminate boys to boot camp to toughen them? 
or if I ban Malay girls from taking part in beauty contests because I do not want them to expose their bodies, or if I fine men who do not attend Friday prayers and parade them in hearses throughout the city centre because I want to save their souls. Will I become a better Muslim if I send non-Muslim children to eat in the changing rooms because it is the fasting month and I do not wish Muslim children to suffer? Or if I send non-Muslim children home because they have haram food like pork sausages in their packed school lunches? Or I will never agree to sex education because sex education means free sex? Will I become a better Muslim if I order raids on pubs which are frequented by the working class? But on the rare occasions that I raid high-class establishments or five-star watering holes, I will make sure that the children of the VIPs and ministers are first escorted out to safety through the back door. Or if I tell everyone that austerity measures are necessary and then get them to pay for my daughter's wedding. Will I become a better Muslim if I use hudud to pander to the rakyat who are religious, especially those in the villages, because I know that this move will advance my political ambitions? Or if I demand sex from my wife whenever I want it, regardless of how she feels? Or uh, if I demand sex anywhere, even if I am astride a camel? Will I become a better Muslim if I marry my girlfriend, in southern Thailand because my first wife has refused permission for polygamy and I do not mind paying the fine on my return as it is only 1,000 ringgits, chicken feed or kacang puteh only. Anyway, my first, fight, my first wife will pay for it. Thank you for listening. Speak to you soon. If you like my videos, Please press like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please also visit my Patreon channel if you wish to sponsor me. Thank you.